Weekly Astrology, February 22nd, 2016. A full moon in Virgo on Monday shines its influence on all Earth signs, Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, and brightens up a theme in everyone's astrology chart. Where that theme occurs in each of our lives depends upon three points of data, the birth date, the birth place, and the birth time. The birth time sets what's called as, what's called as the ascendant or the rising sign, which aligns all the houses or the stage settings for the action. Full moons have long been regarded as ominous simply because of their pure beauty and their ability to illuminate a part of our lives. The accuracy of your moment of birth is important because it sets the stage for the entire, entire journey of the individual. The full moon always occurs in the sign opposite of the sun, hence the reflective quality. Now that the sun has moved into Pisces, we are coming to the end of the astrological year. Anytime the sun moves into your sign, you should consider it a new year. This is when the sun returns to the same degree placement of your exact birth time and is called the solar return. When your birthday occurs, it is an excellent time to take stock of your year that has passed and the year that is yet to come. Great wisdom is captured in the solar return chart and we should view this as a time in each of our lives known as our own personal New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. This period of time also brings the sun into close zodiacal proximity to Neptune. Neptune is a planet we refer to as the Great Illusion. It signifies obfuscation and confusion. As we look at the political spectrum, we see this epi the epitome of this quality unfolding. Politicians, regardless of their positions and party affiliation, spout out platitudes of the change that they will deliver. Despite how promising they may sound, we have to be mindful of their ability to actually deliver. They speak with delusion about topics that are elusive and often completely unattainable. Although they are well-intended and sincere, sometimes, they misunderstand the complexity of incorporating sweeping changes to a policy machine that grinds horrendously slow. It is, realistic, is it realistic to think that a single person can change the sway of an entire country? While changes are definitely worthy and to be admired, the final tally of what can be accomplished is often at odds with the dreams of the politician. Bold statements are hard to materialize once the wheel of politics grind to a halt under partisanship. Remember that Neptune imparts this delusional quality most effectively, especially when the sun is there to highlight the dream. Nonetheless, the pursuit is a worthy one. We must, all do, we must do all we can to incorporate change in meaningful ways. Listen each week to Turning the Wheel podcast on iTunes. Great guests, interesting topics, forward-thinking conversations about where humanity and each of us are going. I encourage you to write to me for a personal reading. Uh, one, you can call me 978-393-1036. Visit my website, turningthewheel.com, turningthewheel.tv. I am on Facebook. I am on YouTube. I am Twitter. Reach out to me. Connect. See what your destiny holds for your future, and I can tell you. And I thank you all for your support. Thank you. I'll talk to you all next week.